What's up, people? Welcome back. And if you are new to this, welcome to the Total OS Today channel. Total OS Today is total technology for beginners because we all start somewhere, like I did many years ago as a Windows user. And if you are still using Windows XP, hmm, <clears throat> it's time to, um, you know, switch, definitely. All right. What if you have Windows XP? And you really don't want to, you know, throw away that machine. Maybe it's not that old. Maybe the machine's fine, but it's time to change the operating system. Can you put Ubuntu on it? You probably could if you have at least a gigabyte of RAM. As far as installing Ubuntu, search my channel. But for this one, this is going to be, this is Ubuntu for Dummies 2014. This is just an introduction if you are completely new. Newbie, beginner, dummy need some help and I say those words with the most utmost friendship and respect that I could possibly give you once again been there done that all right Ubuntu for dummies 2014 I strongly recommend that you go to the Ubuntu website to get yourself familiarized what Ubuntu is all about Ubuntu is an operating system based on Linux okay it's not Windows, it's not Android if you have an Android phone, it's not, you know, based on iOS, Apple, iPhone, and all that. It is Ubuntu. It is based on Linux, an operating system simply called Ubuntu Linux. Now, there are different types of what we call Ubuntu based systems. There's Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, and now the list goes on. You don't need to know that specifically right now. What you do need to know is that Linux Ubuntu is not Windows obviously there are some programs some pieces of software that will work in Ubuntu that you may have been using maybe in Windows XP or Windows Vista or whatever you have been using an example would be Firefox uh, the Chromium the Chrome web browser VLC music player now the list goes on generally speaking not always if a piece of software is designed for Linux just for Linux of course it'll work just for Linux if it's designed just for Mac it'll work just for Mac if it's designed just for Windows it'll work just for Windows not always again some exceptions would be Firefox VLC pieces of software like that if you are considering Ubuntu switching to Ubuntu and wanting to try Ubuntu I strongly recommend like I said you go to this website Ubuntu.com click desktop now the folks here at Ubuntu I think have done a pretty good job for beginners to get yourself familiarized of what this is all about this to download the operating system it is free there are uh, computers with pre-installed Ubuntu and that may be something to consider if once you try something like this but want everything to work out of the box and I mean everything then you certainly should buy or should consider buying an Ubuntu computer and then, you can, then I'll have links below for that in the show notes in the Total OS Today shop. Here you, you will have questions answered hopefully most of your questions. If we go to the download link here, the current release of Ubuntu is 14.04 and it's called Trusty Tar. The names really aren't that big of a deal. The LTS terminology is that means this is supported for five years. New releases of Ubuntu come out every six months. The, usually, the most stable ones are released every couple years and have the, the, the designation LTS. Yes, you could choose your flavor or choose which one you need 64 32 bit or 64 bit for uh, Mac machines if you have an older machine you're probably running 32 bit if, if it had Vista or 7 on it's probably 64 bit if you're not sure and it says here 32 bit for machines with less than 2 gig probably go with that one again you should probably check the model number and check the manufacturer if you have a 32 bit or 64-bit easy ways to switch to Ubuntu 
Again, you can get a lot of information here. Here, a lot of this I've talked about on my channel. I don't want to rehash it or you know repeat what I've said because I think this contains enough, even if you are new, uh, to get you started. From Ubuntu, from Windows, from Mac OS. I'm assuming many of you are from Windows, maybe Windows XP. I don't know. Get the version you need. Now there's a Chinese version here, Kylin, I believe it's called. But I would say for your situation, you would go here, click download if it's 64-bit. You can certainly donate if you so choose to. It is not necessary, but you can either donate, pay with PayPal, or take me to the download. And this is where you would download the what's called the ISO file. Now I already have this installed. I'm just going to hit um, uh, yeah, cancel and just get out of that and clear that out. So if you are getting started, definitely check out the Ubuntu.com website. It is user friendly. I, be I believe it is designed for beginners to get you started of what's involved. If you look at this and you're still not sure, I posted four videos on the Toss Today channel, Total OS Today, on how to install Ubuntu Linux. Four steps. But that's really jumping ahead of ourselves if you are new to this. So that being said, if you have considered trying Linux, I think that's terrific. Uh, be patient. Read the documentation. Again, it's not Windows, so you have to unthink uh, I suppose you have to unthink what you've been taught or been used to over the years. That's not necessarily a bad thing. You may like this better um, than running your Windows PC. I certainly enjoy Linux and running certain uh, types of Linux distributions such as Ubuntu Linux Mint better than the Windows 7. I dual boot. That means when, when I turn on my computer, I have a choice of going into booting into Windows 7 or different types of Linux. I use Linux mainly now. Um, the number one reason why I use Linux is for security. I don't have to you know, worry about viruses and malware. Uh, in Windows 7, I generally don't worry about that, but that's because there is a lot more maintenance involved than there is in Linux. But I dual boot just in case something breaks in Linux and I have to do something, upload a video, I'll just go to Windows 7 and do it from there. But for myself, over 50% of the time, I've been using Linux, usually Ubuntu Linux, because that's how confident I am that this may work for you. Be patient. That's probably the best advice I can give you. And, you know, definitely look at my channel, look at the Total Wasted Up, uh, Total OS Today Shop channel for some advice on buying Linux based computers, whether it be Ubuntu or, or maybe you have heard of Chromebooks. <clears throat> excuse me, which run Chrome OS, a form of Linux, and those start as little as $200. If all you like to do is go on the web, mainly go on the web and just, you know, click and go, Chromebooks are definitely worth a look, but that's for a different topic altogether. All right, I think that's it for this one. So take a look at this let me know what you think this is as I stated just an introduction to get you started in the world of Linux thank you so much for watching and listening and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future